Something we see every day but might not pay much attention to are birds. To see them, you can make them come to you, or you can go to them. At Seaborn Creek Nature Park in Rosenberg, you can experience a lot of different birds the first Wednesday of every month, thanks to the Texas Master Naturalists. We've got some brochures about the park and about the Master Naturalist program. We've Wayne also, and Vicki Poorman are the organizers. Taking a hike in the park with master naturalists is, at first, kind of confusing. They stop and ooh and awe at things you may not see. It looked like it, for a second it looked like it had black and it was like a uh, metal box. Yes. You begin to suspect you are the victim of an elaborate practical joke, like a snipe hunt. But their trained eyes and ears are tuned to the world of the park's ecosystems. And yes, in a way, you are on a snipe hunt, but you might also see something else. Scissor-tailed flycatcher. Lucky for you, there are always some volunteers, like Mark Schuerman, on the hike who can serve as an unofficial tour guide and help you sort out the wildlife. It's, in my opinion, the state bird of Texas is the northern mockingbird. <laughs> which, you know, is not very good. I think that should be the state bird of Texas or maybe the golden-cheeked warbler that, that, that only breeds in Texas. The bird hike is just one way the Texas master naturalists try to get people interested in nature. They work toward conservation of and education about native plants, native animals, and nature in general. We are a group of volunteers who perform outreach, education, and volunteerism all around preserving the natural world around us. And I like to think of the Texas landscape and habitat that I love. We're here to protect that, to educate about it, uh, and just in general, take care of those things to the best as we can and to involve the community in what we're doing as well. One of the main things we do is we're fortunate enough to have access to Seaborn Creek Park here in Rosenberg. And the master naturalists have pretty much completely transformed that and reverted it back to its natural habitat. We have prairies, we have uh, butterfly gardens, we have wetlands, we have areas for birding, and, and we raise a lot of native plants. We have eight acres of woodlands or forest area. Uh, we have a wetland that we just redeveloped and planted with aquatic plants. And uh, uh, we've been real busy installing interpretive signage uh, to tell the people on the guided tours or self-guided tours exactly what they're seeing when they're looking at what used to be a prairie. This is another double-crested cormorant and breeding plumage going over. You see a little white. Exactly. Oh, there's a yellow leg. Wow. Greater yellow leg. Yes. And we found one. Yes, we did. You can see him in the scope. He didn't jump in the bag. In the bag yes. <laughs> this day's hikers spotted 55 species of birds, including one never seen in the park before. Overall, the bird species count for Seaborn Park is 193. No, 193? 193? Plus, plus now a hybrid, too. A hybrid, yes. To learn more about the Coastal Prairie Master Naturalists, go to txmn.org slash coastal. For Great American Pastimes, I'm John Woods.